It's the first of four successive away games in the league for Dulwich Hamlet today with Canvey Island the host at the Frost Financial Stadium. Hamlet began the new year with three points over Hendon, winning 2-1 courtesy of goals from midfielders Ashley Carew and Kenny Beanie and winning by a bigger margin wouldn't have flattered them. Top of the league form guide over the last ten games they could move up to second today and Gavin Rose names the same starting eleven, whilst there's a place on the bench for new signing Panucci Kamara. The host, by contrast, are going through a difficult period and are without a win in the last eight in all competitions. However, they have earned three draws in the last four games, including a 2-2 result at Harlow Town on Bank Holiday Monday. Danny Hill makes three changes, whilst Alfred Magaba has been given permission to play against his parent club. Canvey earned a surprise 2-1 win at Champion Hill earlier in the campaign, but with the visitors winning on the last two trips here, they'll be confident of avoiding another loss this afternoon. So catch up. Cog by wide, here's Clunis. Mark Weatherstone. Clunis again. This time will run at Dumas, trying to beat him on the outside. Cross deflects behind Tomlin, it's come for Sakadja. Can he wriggle free? Tees up Beanie. That wasn't uh, goal bound that shot. Carew. Last one in the six-yard box. What's this one going to be like from Tomlin? And towards Green. Weatherstone got the touch. Chambers is in there. Sakadja trying to flick it goalwards. Went for the bicycle kick. It was blocked by uh, Howlett Mundell, I think. Chambers. Nathan Green. Chambers again. Sakaja can turn. Crew's gone to the left. Tomlin's gone through the middle. Doesn't use either of them. Goes instead to Clunis. Well found out. Clunis drives it towards the goal. Into the side netting. Thought for a moment it had uh, crept inside that near post. Hit with a lot of power from Clunis. But as I say, they're just the wrong side of Lewis Moore's near post. And Dunwich's best chance of the game so far. Hasn't resulted in a goal. Dumas clears only to Clunis. Right, with Weatherstone. Cargbo. Carew. Won't find Tomlin there. Sykes all on his own in this half of the field for Canvey. He's now trying to run at Drage. He's got the head of Drage. Goal side, one on one with Edwards. Good save, Preston Edwards. Best chance of the game for either side. First shot on target. And Edwards pulls off the save. That is near post to keep out Sykes. Can the goals capitalise on that? Uh, Turnover in possession. No, they can't here. Clunis. Good link up play between him and Carew, and Clunis drives on. A tackle from Howlett Mundell. He gives it away. Cargbo. Finds Carew. Turns Ryan Blackman. Now can try and get down the middle. Slips it through. Here goes Clunis. Forced wide by the keeper. Clunis goes for goal into the side netting again from the Dulwich number seven. The angle was against him. Made sure he got the head of Moore, who, to his credit, didn't dive in. Forced Clunis wide. As I say, tight angle against the Dulwich winger. Can only roll it into the uh, side netting at Moore's near post. Kenny Beanie. Crossfield ball. Mark Weatherstone. Tomlin again, Sheehan. Looking to stay tight too, Gavin Tomlin. Still found Clunis. And for Carew this time, good challenge. Can't have done that well on the edge of the area so far. Clunis crosses charge down, still reaches Tomlin though. Trying to chip the goalkeeper, delightful idea. But chips uh, past the far post in the end from Gavin Tomlin. Can't add to his nine goals this season just yet. Lovely idea though. Gavin Rose was keen for Magabo to play today. Continues to get uh, minutes under his belt. Seventh appearance for Canvey Island. Extended his loan spell for another month It Two months like Dan Cars will be at Leatherhead. Beanie, that's a lovely pass. Here goes Carew. Sheehan slides in. Doesn't get a meaningful touch though. Carew back onto his left foot and puts it wide of the far post. It was on his weaker side. He would back him to find the bottom corner there. From inside the penalty area. Dulwich have had a few openings in this first half. As of yet... Haven't uh, opened their account in this game. Headed it to Carew. 
flicked on. So Kadja controlled ahead of Pitti. Beanie. Harlett Mundell was headed back towards Gavin Toblin. He goes around the goalkeeper but forced wide. He's got pink shirts arriving. He can find the cutback. Still Tomlin with Karoo now. Cargbo fluffed his lines. Bit of an air kick from Ibrahim Cargbo. He's back with Karoo. Can we now have players back to defend? Clunis sends in the cross over Tomlin. So Kadja looks to get in. Green will retrieve this. Under pressure from Magabo. Just rolls it off for Beanie. Murrayfield sliding in. Magabo not giving Green any time on the ball. Chambers drives away from Sykes. Continuing his way towards the penalty area, Michael Chambers. Sakadja. Onto his right foot. Towards the near post and well held. Diving to his right there, Lewis Moore. Could have easily crept inside, but watched it all the way and well held by the goalkeeper. Chambers. Comfortable control for him. Drage to his right. Now up for Beanie. Short is Carew. Blackman following him around, so Beanie was uh, Carew's option. Chambers. Carew. Can he line up the shot? No. Go wide. Clunis. Pink shirts arriving. Drills in the cross. More parries it away. And Dumas puts his foot through the clearance. Got to be lucky to go around Dumas. The cross was collected by Mort along the ground. Blackman, Sykes, Ibe. Good to see he's okay after that collision a few minutes ago. Long for Sykes. Merrifield. Fouled by Drage. Dumas is lined up to do sending across. Blackman and Phil would go for goal. Blackman does go for goal. A lot of power in it, but it's uh, past the top corner. Bit too high and wide from Ryan Blackman, as I said earlier in the first half. Good goal scoring form at the moment. Carew. Clunis rolls it through the legs of Blackman. Carew in possession for Cargbo, Tomlin. So that found the back by Harlett Mundell. Referee thought about it and awards Dulwich a free kick. Carew's got a four man wall to get this over. Beanie on his left foot is interested as well. It will be Carew over the wall and flash wide of the near post. The height was right, just not quite the accuracy. And Moore watched it wide all the way. Flatman puts it down. Three conversion get into the area. Ibe's going short. He's used Callum Ibe. Bat with Blackman. Pretty deep ball in. Sheehan knocks it down. Weatherstone away. Magabo looked to get the touch. Beanie plays it forward. Dulwich looking to counter. Lovely ball forward by Beanie. In for Carew. On forwards. Gavin Tomlin. Tipped away by Moore. So Cadger's there. Saved by Moore. And he pounces at the feet of Gavin Tomlin as well. Tremendous counter-attack by the visitors. But uh, Lewis Moore repelled them. Move breaks down. Cargbo. Turn into Merrifield. We'll keep hold of the ball. Beanie. On it goes. Green. Chambers. Tomlin. Pass one challenge. Shouts of handball. There was certainly contact with the body of Jamal Howlett Mundell. No harm done for Canvey Island. Drage towards Tomlin. Gets a bit lucky. Sips it through. Sakadja is onside and one on one with Moore. Aldi comes. Good save. Stood tall. Sakadja going through. Ibe. Advantage awarded by the referee. Rides the challenge of Cargbo. Doesn't get through the one of Matt Drage. We decide that was enough advantage. Cargbo. Tomlin. Onside again. Pity trying to force him wide. Leaves him on his backside. Gavin Tomlin. Moore again saves. And again. Chatting. Too close to Weatherstone. Sakadja. Shrugs off Blackman. Here's Carew. Hayden Smith, the uh, substitute. Trying to close him down. Green. Hasn't got forward as often as he'd like in the second half. Beanie sends in the deep ball. So Kadja's there. 
Looping header. Is that carried over the line by the goalkeeper? Dulwich fans think so. Dulwich have 19 minutes to go. Well, sides with promotion aspirations always find a way in games and turn nil nils into scrappy one nil wins. Dulwich had their chances. Here goes Green in with the cross. Tomlin brings it down. Beanie arriving. So Kadja places wide. More restarts. Chatting helps that on. Merrifield. It's come for Cargbo. This time it's the Canvey players who feel hard done by. Wanted a free kick. Green looking for Clunis, who's appeared on the left hand side now with that change. Onto his right foot, will go for goal, and that's comfortable for Moore again. Easily saved it as near post. And they are getting these half chances. They're coming and going though. Way by Blackman. So he looks to bring it down. Chambers and Drage are both there. Drage might have given this to Sykes. Yes, he has. Sykes is one on one. Chance for Canvey. Big save, Edwards. Great save, Preston Edwards. Corner kick and not for the first time today. Sykes has got goal side of Matt Drage. But Preston Edwards, it was hit pretty uh, centrally, it has to be said, but Edwards still had to make the save and tips it over the bar. Blackman will take this corner. Comes in low to Tui. Just slipped as he struck that and couldn't direct it goalwards. Lovely uh, routine though. All uh, take his place on the field for the free kick there, Morel Williamson. Carew stands over this. Is this their moment? Floated in. Can be head on it and almost an own goal. Moore was scrambling. Tomlin again to deliver. Moore trying to go through a whole host of players. Blocked on the line and Canvey will clear. Weatherstone it was with that final shot. Ming forward. At the moment, it's going to be four points off Dulwich this season. These two sides have never drawn a game, you know. Foul against Dulwich. Can be free kick. Dumas will swing this in and uh, Sheehan goes forward for it. Dumas. Goal! And Canvey Island do score! It's Steve Sheehan. And for all the pressure that Dulwich have exerted on their opponents today, the host may well have won it with just less than three minutes to play. Dumas put it into an enticing area. And it's Steve Sheehan who had time from close range. Little Edwards could have done. Couldn't repeat his heroics from earlier in the game. And that is all we're going to get. Canvey Island without a win in the last eight games before today. And only two wins in the last 17 games have got a massive three points as they look to fight off relegation and they complete a league double over Dulwich Hamlet. Dulwich had so many half chances during the game, but time and time again were repelled by the excellent Lewis Moore in the Canvey Island goal who uh, kept them at bay when the defence was being stretched. Preston Evans made a couple of fantastic saves himself to keep out George Sykes during the game. But uh, as the game approached injury time, Steve Sheehan forward for a free kick, headed home from close range to give Canvey Island all three points. And as I say, give them a big win in the uh, context of their season. Dulwich will feel frustrated when they're going to come away from the Frost Financial Stadium. Pointless today. Final score then is Canvey Island 1, Dulwich Hamlet 0. So Gavin, firstly, can you believe you've lost that game today? Yeah, I can. Um, we've spoken about not taking chances all season. Um, nothing's really changed. Um, I think we've had a lot of faith with the players all season, uh, hoping that they'd sort of gain confidence, gain responsibility uh, to take the chances that we create. Um, I think our job is to get the team in the last third um, as many times as possible with good opportunities. I think we do that as a management team, but after that we can't actually physically go on and cross the ball or go on and shoot 
we can't do that. That's not our job. That's the, the job of the players. And so far, from now, from the start of the season to now, we've um, we've not been consistent enough at the top end. Danny, does that feel a bit like a, a smash and grab win today? Yeah, a little bit. Obviously, this at Dulwich are a very good side, and we, we knew what we was going to come up against. We had to ride ride the storm. Or, for, for, for large periods and had a lot of possession, but like we stuck to our game plan and that, our keepers kept us in it a couple of times. But George has gone through one and one there, and ten to go, and Preston's kept a minute, and we've kept going in that. But listen, we, we feel a bit hard done by lately. We, the luck ain't been on our side, and what we feel as though we got it today. But the, the work rate and, and togetherness that we've showed over the last weekend and, and today, and the new boys we've brought in, we look like a different team at the moment. But like I say, we're still in a bit of bother. We've, we've got a lot to work to do still to get ourselves out of trouble, but. Listen, it was a big three points for us today and it ain't going to do us no harm. I think in the last month or so we've been also conceding free kicks in very dangerous areas, cheap free kicks to give away and we've been punished a couple of times now. Yeah, Matt Dre has done it uh, twice, I think, uh, in the last within the last month. Um, so, you know, you talk about not learning your lessons um, and it's punishing the team. It's, it's, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't mind if it was at the halfway line and we had a chance of defending it, but... It's in and around our box. Uh, we're getting punished and you're making the same mistakes again and again. It just shows a little bit of ignorance on his part. Well, today he hadn't won in the last eight games in all competitions. I think he had two win in 17 in all competitions. In the context of your season, how big a three points could this be? Oh, massive. Listen, listen we've, we've, uh, we, we've, the new club has behind us there is a, is a big reason for what's been going on. But it's open now. Money started coming in through the doors and, and we're in a bit of a better place. So we knew it was going to be a tough season for us as a club. And um, to say that I thought the supporters today were absolutely fantastic and they've stuck by us through the bad times as well but listen we're only just halfway through the season and that is a lot of points to play for a lot of games to play and uh, we've added a bit of strength in depth in our squad and brought in some quality players from higher levels and uh, that, that it's working dividends for us at the minute and, and listen we're working hard behind the scenes I think our last five games is three draws a win and, and one defeat so we feel as though we're in a bit of a better place but listen you can't get carried away with yourself because we've got another tough game we've got to wait at Worthing on Tuesday which is going to be another big test It's all well and good uh, beating the sides around the top of the table but this season you look at the results against the sides who are currently in the bottom six or seven drawn against Hendon lost home and away to Canvey Harrow taking points off us it's a big concern isn't it that we're not finishing off the sides that we should be beating? It is, of course, it's a concern. But um, again, at the end of the day, every single game we play, and no matter what position they're in, we've created chances every team we played against. Um, and like I say, it's, it's not, it's, it's irregardless of what position they're in. A chance is a chance. The type of chances we're getting, we should be scoring, and we're not. And to be honest, that's beyond me. That's uh, that's nothing that I can actually do about that. Obviously, as a personnel. Personal change because um, obviously I think we've we've taken it a long time with mentality, trying to build their mentality and confidence and belief in themselves to score goals and take the responsibility to, to cross the ball and shoot and stuff like that. But um, it looks like we've got to a point where that's just not going to change and um, we have our own goals and that's to uh, get in the playoffs at a minimum. Um, and you know we have to do it maybe with different personnel now. I think in the first half, your midfield uh, pressed quite high and you seem to try and push Dulwich as far back as possible. Yeah, well, we started the game, obviously, probably gave him a little bit too much respect and let him play out from the back. And then, obviously, about 15 minutes in, we thought we'd go and try and pressure, put, a, put a bit of pressure on him and, and, and stop him playing, trying to play a bit longer, sorry. But uh, it worked for us. And like I say, we knew that while they had the ball in front of us, and we, well, as long as we had two banks of four and out, and we kept them out. And so the goalkeepers made two great saves for us. Um, uh, and listen, we've rode our luck at times, but um, we give as good as we got at times, and it was a, it was a good, good good performance from us. So it's something to build on, and hopefully we can build it on Tuesday. Looking at the opposition today, you allowed Alfred Magaba to play. Were you pleased to see him get through another hour? It has come back from what's been a long-term injury. Yeah, definitely good for him. I mean, um, I think he's always a hard worker, honest worker, and he's he's he's, he's been able to get some valuable game time here. Um, at Canvey, um which is good for his development. Um, it seems to be working for both for both parties. Has the uh, defence got a bit more stretch in the second half? Indebted to your goalkeeper for some good saves, and he, he looks a, a good prospect at the age of 20. Yes, listen, listen. We've made a change in the back four. We've brought another centre half in today that we'll announce over the weekend. And uh, people are fighting for their shirts at the minute. But say, Lewis done really well today for us. Uh, kept us in the game, and uh, that's what you need to do. We, well, listen, when you're down there, everything seems to go against you, and that's what's been happening to us. But we've rode our luck today. Day, but listen, the work rate we put in and, and our positional play and our shape and listen, if you think you're going to go and play Dulwich home or away and, and, and you think you're going to have the, the lion's share of the territory, you're not. So that's the way it is. They're a big club and uh, 
listen, I can't be more proud of them. We've had an up and down season and that, but like they showed me today that they're, they're fighting for my corner and, and um, I can't be more pleased with them. But listen, it's only three points and we need a few more points to get ourselves out of trouble and uh, hopefully it gives us something to build on the Tuesday. Does this side at the moment have the potential to reach the playoffs, do you think, or does it need changes? No, I think we need um, more of a goal threat at the top because <clears throat> uh, quite clearly we know that we're doing one thing right and that's um, we're creating a lot of chances, we're creating a lot of good chances um, but we just don't have players with a real confidence and um, uh, well I say not we don't have players, we don't have enough players with real confidence and belief to finish them off and I think um, Didi DeMarco has been the exception to the rule. Um, in terms of his uh, goals conversion to games has been what the level what we expect and we probably need to bring in maybe one more at least to um, to help uh, with that so we, I think every team knows that they're going to get a certain amount of goals from certain individuals.